Do you find yourself switching back and forth between a calendar on a SharePoint site and your calendar in Outlook 2007? Make a better switch. View and work with your SharePoint calendars directly in Outlook 2007. The first step to bringing SharePoint calendars into Outlook is to establish a link between the two calendars. In a web browser, I open the SharePoint calendar. On the menu bar, click Actions, and then click Connect to Outlook. A dialog box appears to confirm that I want to connect this SharePoint calendar to Outlook. I'll click Yes. That's it. I've successfully linked the two calendars. The SharePoint calendar opens in the side-by-side -side view to the right of my Outlook calendar. If I only want to view the SharePoint calendar, I can clear the checkboxes for the other calendars that are selected. Now with just my team's SharePoint calendar displayed, I can work with the calendar just as I would with any Outlook calendar. For example, the owner of this SharePoint calendar configured it so that people on my team can add or modify items. Just as I can with my own calendar in Outlook, I can move calendar items on the SharePoint calendar to a different time or even another day. For example, I'll move this recurring Wednesday meeting to Thursdays. Since this is a recurring meeting, I'll click Open the Series. In the Appointment Reoccurrence dialog box, I'll clear the Wednesday checkbox and select Thursday. Now the meeting has been moved on the SharePoint calendar to Thursday. With SharePoint and Outlook 2007 calendar integration, there's no need for a save or synchronize command. The changes I make here in Outlook are sent to the SharePoint site automatically. Back on the SharePoint site, notice that the recurring calendar item I moved in Outlook from Wednesday to Thursday has been moved on the SharePoint calendar as well. It doesn't matter which calendar you make a change in, the calendars will synchronize. I'll change the meeting back from Thursdays to Wednesdays, but this time by opening the item on the SharePoint site, clicking Edit Series, and then changing the day from Thursday to Wednesday. Now the meeting is back on Wednesdays. When I switch back to Outlook, the meeting moves from Thursday to Wednesday. Working with my team's SharePoint calendar in Outlook is a time saver. For example, I can use the Calendar Overlay feature in Outlook 2007 to see transparent calendars stacked on top of each other. When I select the checkbox for my primary calendar, both calendars appear side by side. When I click the Calendar Merge button, the two calendars are overlaid. This view is useful when comparing two calendars. It helps me see where I have free time and where I have scheduling conflicts. On Mondays at 10, there's a Marketing Trends series that I'd like to add to my calendar. In the Overlay Calendar mode, it's easy for me to tell that this meeting on Monday doesn't conflict with any item on my primary calendar. I want to add the Market Trends meeting to my primary calendar. So first, I'll separate the calendars. I could just create a new appointment on my calendar and enter the information from the Market Trends meeting, but I know a better way. I'll click and drag the meeting to my calendar at the same time slot. Now that's fast. Now that I'm done working with the SharePoint calendar, I want to close that calendar. When I clear the checkbox, the calendar is no longer displayed. When I want to view the SharePoint calendar, I don't have to create the link to Outlook again. Here in the Calendar View Navigation pane, the SharePoint calendar is always listed under Other Calendars. When I select the checkbox, there's the calendar. And if I ever decide that I no longer need access to the SharePoint calendar, I can remove the connection with Outlook. Right-click and click Delete Calendar. And don't worry, this only removes the calendar from appearing in Outlook. The data remains safe on the server. With the power of Outlook 2007 and SharePoint, staying on top of multiple calendars is easy.